here at Tennessee, and we're about to go on a little bit of a guided tour from what I understand. So going to hop in the Rex 3 and get going. So this thing did great yesterday. Those, uh, the 30-inch Turos on this thing, I was pretty impressed with them, honestly. Only got hung up the one time, and the next time just took a little bit different line, climbed right up that. So big fan of how this thing is running today. Still some changes that need to be made on this thing to get it where I want it to be. We'll talk about that more later for now. We're going to hop in. Go for a ride. today is at this abandoned mine I guess so we're just gonna walk around a little bit check out inside there's some I don't know I don't know a lot about mines so I mean I'll just show you what I'm seeing and uh, maybe you guys know what this is I don't know pretty neat place scenery here is hard to beat man when I was down in Tennessee a few months ago it was uh yeah just the rocks everything about this place man very cool well, we're just inside this, and it doesn't go too far because there's, well, a lot of water down here, so you can't really go down much farther than here unless you decide to go scuba diving, but the place is uh, pretty interesting. Uh, quality of steel here? Mm, TBD. Safety of this? Not sure. Cool? Very cool. So there's one more mine over there. It pretty much just goes to, to nothing. We tried to walk up there, but it's just a bunch of water, like, immediately, so couldn't really get too deep there. Neat place, though. Super neat. I don't know what this little uh, hut is, but we're going to find out. Oh, I got a crouch. Oh, it's like another entry. It's pretty neat. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know what that is. Looks safe though. This looks like the safety capital of the world, if you ask me. This is where OSHA was formed. Yeah, right? <laughs> it was because of this place, OSHA. <laughs> This must be like the main terminal. Water there? Yeah, somebody put it on rock. It looks like it gets default that way. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Mine was pretty sweet. We're gonna get back on the trail, and I don't know where we're gonna end up. Hopefully, someplace that has some food. I'm pretty hungry.
yeah, it's a big cave, giant cave. So it's pretty cool. I uh, I don't know if you could get machines down here or not. I don't think so, but beautiful scenery. I tell you, Tennessee, it's hard to beat as far as places you can go that have really good riding and also, you know, a lot of nice scenery that you can check out too. So I was hoping there's like a hamburger stand or something down here because I'm kind of hungry, but not banking on it, but maybe. Yeah, it's just nuts. Wow. Trying to not fall. Jeez. Did a little daisy chain pro xp krx to the rex 3 we got out no big deal winch crucial always have one can't really talk crap about krx's anymore <laughs> so we took a little break found this uh nice overlook here you can actually see kind of where we're camped by where these trees are right there we'll do a little zoom in pretty nuts gas station right there fueled up there this morning Pretty crazy. Good scenery here.
right, we're back at this rock ledge here. I don't know what this is called. But a Turbo S just went up it, so I'm going. All right, Rick, let's go. As soon as the tires got dried out, climbed right up there. I knew we had it in the bag. It's a little sketchy going up there to the face, but Bruce was doubting me. And it's typical player stuff, dude. <laughs> Full of doubt. <laughs> Walk the dog. <laughs> got back from a little uh, undocumented Sunday rip where went pretty hard out here at Tackett Creek and I've got everything loaded up we're about to head out and man uh, what an incredible weekend big thank you to Bruce Wilson for inviting me out here great riding here if you haven't been to Tackett Creek head there it's uh, it's incredible I'm sure we didn't even touch the surface of you know what is here but from what we did see Beautiful scenery, great trails. I'm sure there's a lot more hard stuff. I would have, you know, been interested in trying that. That just means I got to come back. So, also, on the way back, unfortunately, had a little bit of a loss. Got a flat on the old Rex 3. Let me tell you what, those 30-inch Aturo trail blade side-by-side -side tires absolutely killed it out here this weekend. Very impressed with those things. I was running them super low on air pressure to go through some of the rocks. Not super surprised the sidewall took a, a hit, so can't really blame it for that. But with the trail hazard warranty, they'll get me fixed up with a new one. No big deal. So appreciate your guys' support in this matter. This trip to Tennessee is just getting started. Got a ton more cool stuff I'm going to be doing, and I'm off to my next destination. So, again, appreciate your support in this matter. See you in a couple days.